good morning and welcome back to my channel my name is Chi Uzo and today I'm gonna do something a bit different I'm doing a travel vlog it's gonna be like a little come with me to London because I'm spending the day I'm spending 24 hours in London and I'm literally just getting ready now I did my makeup like 20 minutes ago I'm still wet <laughs> I don't know why it's the like spray thing you add on the end um, oh my picture was looking kind of cute. I'm really excited. I am going to like my first ever like creative event, like an event that's like curated for creators to make content event type of thing. And I'm really excited, but I'm literally just waiting for like the confirmation email saying that, oh, I can't wait to see you type of thing. It's currently, 720 oh, 7.25 and my bus is in an hour because I'm not taking a train because they're completely unreliable right now and yeah it's about like a 15 minute walk to the bus station so I have like 45 minutes to just chill and relax I'm a bit bubbly and a bit like I've literally got bubbles in my stomach. I haven't been to London, <clears throat> I think, since I was 13. I haven't been to London. So I'm, <laughs> I'm literally scared that it's as rough as I remember or it's completely changed and I have no clue how to navigate it anymore. So I'm really hoping it's the second one because then it's like, ooh, I don't remember this. I don't remember that. You know that type of thing my photo was kind of cute i was hoping for it to be like full by the by the end of the, like the first semester like just keep adding and adding to it like the gray ones were the ones i added when i first came and the colored ones like the ones in color are the ones i've been adding but i ran out of printer paper like <laughs> i ran out of printer paper for the last like six pictures so i don't know I'm gonna have to just remind myself to put it on my Amazon thing. It's really loud because I just opened the window because I'm a bit warm. But um, yeah, I use the Kodak printable for all of like my picture needs. And the only reason why I knew I was like completely out of like printing paper is because I literally just wanted to take a picture of me now and be like, <laughs> and there was nothing in there. There was literally nothing in there, so it's just kind of pretty cute you know what i might prop it up i might prop this camera up so then i can show you what it actually looks like yeah oh i can do an outfit fit check wearing blue jeans and then just like a really cute top and then i've got like a crochet knit sweater to add on or i've also got a pink top but it's in like my little backpack that i'm taking with me to london Oh, you can kind of see my blue jeans in the mirror. Yeah. So, this print. I got this, like, over a year ago. And so, basically, it's got, like, red button to, like, actually, like, take the pictures. This turns it on. Like, this small button here turns it on. I don't think it's charged. Oh, it is. It literally sounds like a printer as well. And then you literally just like shoot where you want it to be and it'll just like appear it's just like a normal camera but then obviously it'll print out like a little photo like that all four by four so it's pretty cute um oh what's really good about this camera is because you can connect it with your phone and actually just print pictures from your phone because no offense but this camera actually like all of the all of the photos i've taken on the actual camera have come out blurry so i wasted a lot of printing paper like that until i saw like a tiktok being like oh use your phone connect it using this random app so yeah i have like 30 minutes left of you know just waiting around and then i'm gonna get on my bus I look pretty cute. My eyes look really dark today. 
I don't know why. But okay. I officially got the confirmation text. So I am heading to London. Okay. I've got my backpack. My little friend's backpack. I've also got like a money pouch. And I am sharing my location with four people because apparently no one trusts me to go to London by myself. I don't trust myself either, but here I am. Here I am. I am looking cute. Uh, I have like 15 minutes before I need to go and catch my bus. I'm so excited because I'm going to London. You might be thinking, Queen, gee, you've actually lived in London before. Why are you this excited? I'm this excited because it's my first time by myself like there's no like parental like guidance it's just me on my ones that being said i am going to be on the phone to my brother for most of the day probably call elise and be like hey can we talk for an hour and a half because i genuinely don't know why i'm doing it but yeah imposter syndrome isn't winning today i'm heading off <laughs> great time met a wonderful 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 people and yeah I don't even know what to say I think I might I think I might do like a recap of the entire event in the morning <laughs> because it is literally I don't even know where my phone is my phone is so dead it is literally like coming up to midnight like half an hour till midnight and uh, I am catching another coach to go all the way back home as well so there's no rest I'm literally like like I'm wrapped up in a blanket with like a shirt on now but I'm literally just gonna go wash give my face like a good wash you know get like all of the makeup off 
I'm really surprised it lasted like this long, low key, <laughs> because it doesn't look that it doesn't look that bad. Like the lip is gone, but I was sleeping on the coach. It was not a good look anyway. The I never do anything with my eyebrows because I don't know what to do. Like I tried straight brows for a while, and I looked like it ended up looking really mean. So oh no, but um, I am very greasy. That is for one thing, but other than that, I look pretty cute. Yeah, I might go wash my face. You know what? I'm going to do the debrief after I wash my face because I don't see myself waking up early enough to recount everything that happened. <laughs> okay, peace. So I'm packing right now because I want to take an hour nap before I have to leave. And while I pack, I might as well tell you what happened. So... I got into London around 10 a.m. No, not even. Uh, what was it? <laughs> My suitcase is dirty. Um, I got into London around 11 a.m. Stopped by, got some breakfast slash lunch um, at this random cafe that I literally was like, oh, this is nice. So I literally just popped in. And then I got a cheese toasty. Why does everyone forget to say how truly expensive it is in London? Because a simple cheese and ham toasty was costing me seven pounds. Seven pounds that I didn't, ah, I'm so glad I brought a water bottle with me because if I had to pay an extra three quid for a drink, I don't think I would've, I don't think I would've eaten for the entire day. And then, oh, I think I was just being like a tourist and going round to all of like the different, like, main tourist attractions, like Buckingham Palace. And um, I went to go see the London Eye as well, but I didn't have enough time to record it because I literally looked at the time and I was like, I need to get on a bus so that I can make it to this event on time because it started at two and i was frolicking around like i had no place no plans and nowhere to be <laughs> and then what was it it started off with just like an icebreaker everyone went round, said their name their pronouns that type of thing and then we kind of just went into like um it was really like a learning experience because they were teaching us about um, better ways to get people to engage in your content, better ways to like, you know, grab people in like the first few seconds of your like videos and stuff. And then they also taught us like different ways to like use your camera and like just using your phone if you have it. Because I'm a student and I use my phone for like recording everything. So it was just nice to see them like, you know, teaching us about cameras that we already use in our daily lives and not having to like force us like buy um, really expensive equipment when the equipment we have is already good enough to like make content and stuff. It was my first ever <laughs> create event. So I think I was a bit too excited like I was excited about everything like we um the event was run in um the paper mill studios in London near Hackney and I don't the whole studio is fantastic I was like gushing over the entire studio it felt like my dream home or like my dream home my dream studio all wrapped in one there was literally like a secret door, like it was like a bookcase and she was like, oh, we're going to go up to the third level. And everyone was like, there's no stairs. And she's like, wait for it. And it's literally just like behind this, like the bookcase. And we're all just like, what? What is going on? And then there was an, a third level, which I actually got pictures of and I put them on my Instagram because i was just like this whole room is amazing i didn't actually get to like film in it but it was great 
Um, and then they split us into like different groups, like different like number of size groups and stuff. And they set us on a challenge to create a just a food video for you know any time variation you want and you had to shoot produce and edit it in an hour and I will say <laughs> it is so much harder than what you think it is like doing like thinking thinking of a concept implicating it thinking about the way it's shot like thinking about lighting thinking about um like what's it called like snapshots and stuff like that like it was just it was amazing because it's like collaborate it's like a collaborative project so you're working with other creators and you're hearing feedback saying what if we do this we can add like shimmer in like the glass and it was amazing like it was like it was like collaborating with other people and hearing their ideas it makes you want to be like a better content creator so I just I had a great time um <laughs> I might even post the video because um one of the women from Taste Made it was like upload it see what happens <laughs> because I made a mistake on the editing and I left in a really long clip that I thought I'd cut out like I think I might cut the other the, the wrong part out and stuff and she was like, no, just post it, see how it does, see what how people react to it. Like, they might enjoy it, they might not, but it's a learning experience. So I might link it at the end of this video. So <laughs> watch that if you want. And then, yeah, it was, it was just a lot of fun. Like, I will say, like, the whole day, it was a lot of fun. I met incredible, like, women, men all from like different walks of life some who are literally around the corner from me in bath so might have to like meet up there and you know do some more like carpet events and now the goodie bag i might even come closer like sit on my bed or something the goodie bag this is like the goodie bag that they left us with and it's like all of the materials that they they literally just let us use everything that was there but like here's some of like the stuff so i might have to actually get i might change the angle of this so the goodie bag okay so first of all starting with the actual bag i love that they kept the tags on because it says that the, this tote is made from recycled cotton and that this tote saved 531 litres of water, which I think is amazing. Sustainability, love it. And then first thing is sea salt. Mm, love that, sea salt. They were literally talking about like adding the final flair to your video, you know, just top it off with garnish. So I love that they added this. And then, ooh, what's this? Dark sugars. Why is it not focusing? Why is it not focusing? Is it? Um, dark sugars. Okay. Oh, I think it's just chocolate. I'm definitely keeping this. And then it has some information about where's the chocolate from and all of this. This is so cute. Um, what else do they have? Oh, this is the notebook. It has pins all over it. It's upside down. It has pins all over it because of Pinterest. And we, we were actually using this during the event so thank you <laughs> so everyone was writing down notes and like all of the takeaways from like the thing because they weren't it, as much as it was a fun event it was it definitely was like a learning experience like they were definitely teaching us stuff but like these tips and then it has been just like steady taste made um Literally, they were giving us such great tips. Like, I'm literally going to keep this and, you know, just implement it into, like, the 
the stuff I already do, you know. Don't want to do two big jumps because if you try to do everything at once, you end up losing what your actual plan was. Oh, it's like a mold. Okay, I don't actually bake a lot, but you might see me trying it out in the future. Um, this is adorable. It's literally got the Pinterest and the Taste Made logo. That is adorable. It's a wooden spoon, so I can chef it up, but it's also like, how cute is that? I'm, that's so cute. And then, this is like the big thing. <laughs> what is it? It's a new water bottle. Yes. Okay. Where's my old water bottle? Where is my old water bottle? My room's a mess right now, so I actually don't know where like all my stuff is. So. So this is my old water bottle, which I have like designs all over that I drew myself. It, this is an unfinished one, but this is my designs that I drew myself. And I actually got this at Freshers, one of the Freshers events, and I've literally branded it with my name all over it. Um, yeah, I think you can see there, like, I literally just got it from a Freshers event. Oh, my phone's dying, so I have to do this quickly. It's a water bottle. Okay, this is adorable. It has the Pinterest logo on it as well. This one doesn't have the Taste Made logo in it, but you know. Oh, this is adorable. It's empty, obviously, but I'm gonna be using this one from now on. Just so I could be like, oh, what did you get from? Oh, my first ever create event. Yeah, with Pinterest. My first love. Literally, adorable. I'm gonna have to cut this now. So the next time you see me, I'm gonna be in another city. But yeah, I'm gonna finish packing, get ready, get dressed. You can see me in the back. I look kind of cute. Um, <laughs> I'm literally gonna get like everything packed. So you can see it on my bed. I'm halfway packed and I have an hour to get ready. So I'm gonna end this here and you'll see me later, please. <laughs>